do not buy options for this one reason. So, hey, Jim Schultz here with you guys for F-Cubed and livefcubed.com. So, look, man, I got it. Like, I understand, right? Buying options, I mean, it's limited capital at risk for unlimited potential profit. Like, that's a great trade. You've got a modest gotcha in exchange for a pretty massive gimmick. Like, I totally understand the attractiveness and the allure and the appeal of long options. But with long options, like either calls or puts, like not only do you have to be right directionally, but you kind of need to be right directionally right now. So as many of you probably already know, but some of you maybe don't know, hey, shout out to all of our new people. Welcome aboard. I hope that you stick around. When you buy an option, like you need the stock to move in your favor. You buy a call, you need the stock to move higher. You buy a put, you need the stock to move lower. At least at expiration, this needs to happen in order for you to just break even to begin with. Now, sure, if you get the move in your favor right away, like you may not need to wait until expiration to bank a profit. You might be able to do it very quickly. That's absolutely true. But it still doesn't change the fact that from the moment that trade is filled, and that position goes live, that position goes hot, time is working against you. The reason why this is the case, and the main reason why buying options is a losing proposition to begin with as we finally get to the point, now two minutes into the video, is because when you buy that option, assuming it's an out of the money option, the price that you pay for that option is all extrinsic value. And at expiration, that extrinsic value is going to be zero. It either has value or it doesn't. It either has intrinsic value or it doesn't. It either has worth or it doesn't. There's no time left. So the extrinsic value, the time factor, the volatility factor, the proximity factor of, you know, the stock price and the strike price, all of that stuff doesn't matter anymore because it's all gone because the hourglass is empty. So that extrinsic value, it has to converge down to zero. And that is working against you from the very moment that you buy that option. But Jim, bruh. That unlimited profit potential. Isn't that a big enough gimme here? Like, isn't that a big enough gimme to absorb this minuscule, you know, negative theta gotcha? Don't you worry about getting in at the right time. That is not going to be a problem for me because I just snagged my super secret system off of Twitter from Johnny Pants 77 and this thing is ready to go. This thing is lock, stock, and barrel, baby. I mean, it's been a couple of weeks and it hasn't worked yet, but hey, man, we are just getting warmed up. Hey, I concede. If you nail your timing perfectly, like you're going to get paid. You're going to make some money with long options. So if you want to take a shot from time to time, if you just have a hunch or you have a hedge or you have a whatever that you want to put in place, you want to buy a call, you want to buy a put, whatever, you know, from time to time, I have no issue with that. But to build your core foundational strategy around long options, around buying options, because the internet told you that it's going to work, man, I can't get there. I do not like it and I cannot get there. I can't get there, man, because that gotcha of negative theta, it ain't some minuscule gotcha. Like that gotcha, it's about to get even gotcha ear as time goes by. Time is going to start to work against you even more ferociously every day that you are not correct directionally. Because that negative theta over time, it's not a linear function. So to put it very simply, it's not the same amount that you lose every single day. It's actually a nonlinear function. It's actually a function where the decay begins to accelerate as you get closer and closer to expiration. So you start losing more and more premium the more days that pass that you are not correct directionally. So that gotcha, it ain't some minuscule gotcha that you're not going to notice. No, no. Like you are going to notice it, you are going to feel it, and you are going to have to absorb it the longer you stay in that trade. So this is why not only do you have to pick direction correctly with long options, like just to give yourself a chance. But man, you better do so with the quickness. Because if you don't do it quickly, then you're just going to get chewed to pieces by time itself, which that's something that none of us can stop. So TLDR, don't buy options. Don't build your portfolio around long options. There's a better way. All right, guys. So thanks for popping in today. I'm really appreciative. I'm humbled that you chose to spend some time with me here this afternoon, this evening, this morning, whenever you happen to be watching this. If you want to like or share the video, or you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. We do things in fitness, we do things in faith, we do things in finance. So we're just trying to have a good time and try to help you all out in some way, shape, or form. And so let me know down in the comments. I want to know like what your experience with long options has been. 
Like, let me know if this information was kind of new to you, if you kind of knew all this before or whatever the case may be. Like, I would love to know more where you're coming from. Let me know how I can help you. And uh, I don't know, guys. I think that's probably it. So I will see you guys next time.